Hey all, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Ethereum merge and what that means for my ETH miners, my GPUs. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. And with the recording of this video, I'm enjoying the Cocion Macal Antiquas Reservas 2018. It is from Chile, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile. 2018, as you can see right there, uh, but it is a fantastic uh, Cabernet from that area down in Chile. Um, I would say my palate isn't as refined with the Chilean cabs, but this is not bad. It's uh, a lighter focused, not as bold in fruit forward, uh, a little lighter on the nose than most cabs I, I typically go for. But um, anyways, if you're curious about getting a Chilean wine, I would say go ahead and give this one a try and uh, now back to the video. All right, so most of you know what the Ethereum merge is, but for those of you who are new, quick overview. Ethereum is now moving from proof of work, which is using the GPUs I have here to mine Ethereum. All right, it is now moving on over to proof of stake, and we will no longer have to use these to validate transactions on the blockchain. All right, so that is a quick overview of what the merge is. It is happening within a day to two days. Um, depending on when you watch this video. So there's three things I wanted to bring up to you guys here on CoinMarketCap. Uh, they have a great visual here in terms of when the merge is gonna happen. So if you're curious, you can go to their website and find out. But right now of recording this video, it's about a day and six hours and some change. Um, their estimated date right here is for Thursday at 2 a.m. Now, I do wanna stress that it could happen earlier. It could happen a little bit later. Um, it all comes down to the fact of how quickly that block is mined that they actually make the merge happen. Um, if the miners ramp up their hash rate and they get through those blocks faster, well, it could happen earlier in the morning or the night. Or if people start shutting off their rigs, it could happen later. So roughly about 2 a.m. right now is the guess that it's going to happen. So that's point one, number one that I wanted to bring up. So that brings us to point number two. So what happens to your Ethereum that may be on your Trezor or your Ledger, or what if it's on an exchange like Coinbase or Gemini or FTX um, or an Exodus wallet or your trust wallet, okay? What happens to that Ethereum once the merge happens? So I, I did wanna give you a quick overview here that I got from Ledger. I thought this was very helpful here um, in terms of the merge. So first off, your Ethereum's fine. You'll be able to transact with it once the merge is done. You are perfectly okay. Do not worry. Uh, you don't have to exchange it out for like Ethereum 2.0. It's not gonna be a new token. It's still gonna be Ethereum, okay? So just keep that in mind. But do keep in mind, if you're trying to transact on an exchange or on your Ledger or with your Trezor, just keep in mind that uh, at least at Ledger, this is what they've said, that they're going to uh, pause the buy and swap ETH and ERC20 tokens. So don't go out and try and buy or swap them during the merge. Most of you, if you're in the US, you're probably gonna be sleeping at that time. So you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but then also here, so sending ETH, ERC20 tokens and Ethereum NFTs, I would highly recommend pausing that. Do not do that uh, during the merge, just to make sure that nothing happens um, to your own crypto assets or uh, NFTs, okay? So just keep that in mind. And then also Ledger's gonna pause interacting with Ethereum dApps in the Discover section. So if you use dApps, they are going to pause that as well. So, I mean, overall, it's just you know logical that, hey, just hold off. We don't know how well this Ethereum merge is going to be happening, so play it safe. Uh, just don't do anything crazy with your NFTs or your Ethereum or maybe even your ERC20 tokens, okay? So, you know, even if you're not sleeping, even if you're up trading or something like that, just just give it a pause. Take a break. Go go take a walk. Go get a drink. Or, hey, go get some, you know, shut eye. Get some rest. Um, and then we'll see how this merge goes. And then, hey, hopefully within, you know, a couple minutes to a couple hours, things will be smooth sailing. Um, hopefully it's not going to be a couple days of issues. We'll see. Um, so this is a pretty big deal. So we don't know how well it's going to transition from proof of work to proof of stake. And then of course, with point number three, I wanted to update you on what I'm doing with my Ethereum miners here. So as you can tell, they're quiet. They're not on, there's no lights. So I decided to turn them off because I had hit my threshold for a minimum payout. Uh, a couple days ago before the merge, and I wanted to make sure I had no issues whatsoever 
getting that payment or getting the residual Ethereum that I earned while mining up until the merge. So through watching a lot of videos of other miners to reading articles on HiveOS and forums, I decided, you know what, instead of uh, hoping that I have no issues within that 28 window with like Hive OS to get paid back my Ethereum, I wanted to make sure that I could have my Ethereum, have no issues, and then just let the dust settle until most of the miners go to a new cryptocurrency to start doing proof of work on. So we'll see a, a lot of the crypto, you know, currencies out there that, you know, a lot of people are discussing about moving on over to like Ergo, or uh, you know Ethereum Classic, you know um, there's there's other ones out there too, but I don't I don't know what's going to happen. So I figured I'm going to see where the majority of miners go to before I put my two rigs on. I mean I'm I'm a small fry when it comes to miners. I have two rigs. That's it. Um, as opposed to some other these mining farms where they have a massive amount of GPUs in a storage facility. Okay, and so. I'm gonna wait and see what happens there. I will then turn them back on and start mining that particular coin once we figure out what the next step forward is. Um, but for right now, I figured, hey, I'm gonna get paid my final payment in ETH. I'm going then to shut off my rigs and then I don't have to worry about anything. So that's why that's why you know the lights are off. That's why the GPUs are turned off. Hey, it also saves me money when it comes to my energy bill, which I love that as well, because as most of you know, your energy bill has almost doubled in the last several months. And so moving on forward here. So that is what I'm doing with my miners. I'm going to let the dust settle and then see what happens. So that is what is going on with the Ethereum merge. Hopefully you guys are excited and ready to go. Um, I prefer Ethereum to stay proof of work. But hey, that's that's how the cookie crumbles, as they say. And uh, we're going to have to enjoy what is next for Ethereum. So um, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. This quick little update. I just wanted to do something more current with the market, what's going on with Ethereum, as opposed to just putting out another video of uh, a general topic. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below on what you think is going to happen with the Ethereum merge coming up here in maybe less than 48 hours. So guys, hope you found this helpful. Have a great day, and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.